Hello everybody, I am Calico and we are playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I am going to be taking you on a tour of a portion of my five star island. I'm going to be focusing on what I can only describe as my Zen Palace. Zen because that's the name of the fencing that I used and also the style, but I don't even know if that's a fair description. Still, we are going to proceed, so without further ado, let's begin the tour. The first thing you'll notice, lots of flowers, and also custom designed stone pathway. I don't know where exactly the design is. I've tried looking for it again, but I haven't been able to find it. Uh, but the best thing I can say is go on Twitter, search ACNH design as a hashtag, and you should be able to find all sorts of cool stuff. I'm also gonna show you this little waterfall area that I really like. So maybe this will give you some ideas. But I'm gonna get out of here because it's loud. Now we slowly make our way up. Nice flowers. I'm pretty sure that this right here is a tombstone. But uh, it fits aesthetically, so I'm gonna go with it. More custom pathways. Bamboo. Put some white hyacinths just kind of along the edges here. I also play some paper lanterns down and some cedars and you'll notice that there's little spots, a little bit of detail work. But these are clovers. These are, I believe they're in the game already in one of the custom designs for pathing. And then I have little rocks here. Same deal. It's something I found on Twitter. And so you can look up ACNH design as a hashtag. You should be able to find it. So I kind of like that it sort of meanders and you get a little like bits and pieces of little portions of the island or little portions of the grounds at least. And right here, I made a little tea area, a little cherry blossom bonsai on the water. I really like this, but I like that the way I set it up, it's sort of symmetrical, but it's also natural looking it's not too straight edged and you'll see that as you're walking you'll get little tidbits of other parts of the grounds and it'll kind of lead you to different areas so right here i have a hearth i think that's how you pronounce it which i'm pretty sure is just used as uh like hot pots for festivals and stuff but i think it looks cool here so i put it here this is another thing that i really like this is also something I found with the hashtag ACNH design on Twitter. It's for making those cool like sand grooves that you see in some Zen gardens or Japanese rock gardens. I really like that. I hope you do too. And from time to time, you just run into little hyacinths. Uh, again, I wanted to make it look natural. I wanted to make it look, you know, not too overly controlled. And then down here, I put like a, a little bit of a garden area with another outdoor bath, some paper lanterns. There's some stuff that I want to do here. I'm thinking of like pushing this area outward and uh, building something out here, but I'm not really sure yet. So that part's is still a work in progress. Now here's another entrance. I flooded it with flowers and a bit of bamboo. Uh, and I kind of want to change this up a little bit. I'm not really totally sure exactly how I want to do it. I'm thinking of kind of how you see on the edges with the bamboo and the flowers and the rocks of spacing things out like that and uh, creating kind of like a bamboo forest or something with flowers in between, flowers and rocks kind of interspersed in between. Make your way up, more symmetry, and some roses, and some more cherry blossom branches. Okay, so now we're getting to my favorite part. This is the part I was looking forward to the most, to showing you guys, because I worked really hard on this and ran into so many issues, but I hope you enjoy it. This is where my house is. First, you have a red zen bridge, separating the area, bamboo in every corner, some custom design bamboo lamps, and some white mums, I think. I think they're called dahlias, really. In my parts, we call them dahlias. Unless dahlia is just a type of mum. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I'm bad. 
and here's my house. So I wanted this to be in the center, kind of in the back. It's not perfect. There are certain things that I kind of want to change about this. Probably redesign the house itself, the exterior at least, and maybe do some stuff on the sides, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Then we have another sand garden with some rocks, it's a bamboo. And this was another thing that I wanted to make sure was symmetrical. Because if you notice, you keep going on this side, you'll see the same thing. Only difference is this side over here, kind of lets out towards the beach, and then you're done. I also randomly got Lily of the Valley, which I was really surprised to see. That's cool. There's a few things I want to do and change and there's also a lot on the rest of the island that I want to change and kind of do separate tours of but I thought this would give you guys some ideas and maybe inspire you to do your own zen castle slash palace slash ground slash garden or whatever else you want to call it but in any case I hope you enjoyed this episode if you like what you saw leave a like if you want to see more of this ridiculousness feel free to subscribe I really appreciate it and leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything you want me to try building or anything you want me to look up or if you have any questions or if you perhaps found this video inspiring in one way or another. I will see you guys next time. Peace.